Now, as politicians in the electoral fray cast their ballots on the second biggest polling day in which a quarter of India's 815 million voters are set to vote, they appeal to all their countrymen to vote for the most eligible government. Our bureau correspondents in India said that voters came out in large numbers to cast their vote with hope for progress and development on the second biggest day of the mammoth elections that would decide the fate of over 1.2 billion people. The country is now over halfway through its nine-phase voting for a new parliament with the ruling Congress party struggling to hold ground against the Hindu nationalist opposition. In the sixth phase of election, voters of 117 constituencies in the nation's 11 states and one union territory cast their ballots. India's financial capital Mumbai, which remains under constant militant threat, also went for polls. As the day progressed, the number of voters outside the polling stations began swelling in Chennai city. The Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Jailalita Jairam, said she is looking forward for peaceful, free and fair elections. I request all political parties and the general public to cooperate with the Election Commission of India to ensure that there is a peaceful, free and fair election. I do not wish to make any other remarks now. Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh cast his vote in the northeastern city of Guwahati and valiantly defended his beleaguered Congress party, saying the country should wait for the election results before writing it off. Singh, a Prime Minister for the past 10 years, has said that he will not seek the Prime Minister's office for a third term. Well, I don't think the Congress is losing ground. I think we should wait for the outcome of the election process that will be known on the 16th of next month. Here is a Modi wave from around the media. Well, Modi wave is the creation of the media. I don't think, I think the country as a whole is swept by any Modi wave. So what is it? Bollywood stars and celebrities added a dash of glamour to the Indian elections as they came out in large numbers to cast their vote in the country's showbiz capital, Mumbai. <laughs> Bollywood superstar Amir Khan was among the early voters as he came accompanied by his filmmaker wife Kiran Rao to vote. Khan, who is also the brand ambassador of India's Independent Election Commission, spreading awareness about the elections, urged his fans to exercise their voice in a democratic process. I would like to tell every citizen of India that it is a very important process of our democracy. We should be connected with our democratic process every day, but this is a special day for all of us. Every Indian should be part of this process. Voting in the world's most populous democracy where about 815 million people are expected to cast their votes is phased over several weeks and concludes on the 12th of May. Results are due to be announced on the 16th. Well, we have been comprehensively covering the Indian general election since the day the polls were announced. We have our correspondents based in Chennai, Delhi and Karnataka. Joining us now is News First Delhi correspondent A. Valarmati with the latest. 60.52% voter turnout was registered in Tamil Nadu as of 
3 pm 845 candidates contested in 39 parliamentary seats over 60000 polling stations were installed of which 9226 have been identified as sensitive 150000 security personnel were deployed for security however polling was overall peaceful with no untoward incidents being reported this polling was witnessed early in the morning in rural areas especially in the southern district however chennai constituencies witnessed less than 30% polling the election commission for the first time in the history of tamil nadu clamp prohibited prohibitory orders to prevent money distribution to the voters balarmati from new delhi india